So Jay-Z is said to be intimidated by Kanye a lot lately that he's literally shaking, waiting for the bomb to go off any time. Now, what bomb is going off? Apparently, Ye has a lot of things on Jay-Z, say like secrets and compromising receipts that could put him in the worst place than Diddy is right now. Knowing Ye, I wouldn't doubt saying that he might hit the internet very soon, spilling all the tea and putting all the receipts. But what exactly? is this about? Well, when Diddy started getting exposed for who he is in the industry by his victims, a lot of people were wondering how come Jay-Z is nowhere near his lawsuits in terms of either being mentioned in them or as a complicit or coming out to support his best friend Diddy and speak out in public about the matter. Why does Puffy, why, did, why now? Why? Because he's the acceptable monster at this time like R. Kelly was the last time I sat on this couch. So who's next? Y'all don't see the lineup? Jay-Z is setting Diddy up! He lined up D. Haven, stole his life and identity. He lined up Big L, Stole his life and identity. He lined up Dame Dash. Stole his life, identity. Took his love. Lined up R. Kelly. He wants to be the one. Just like Diddy managed to hide all his secrets for decades and they're just getting to know about it now, these people are so good at hiding things and paying people to help them hide them. And by keeping his distance from Diddy, he was keeping his name out of the public eye. But I wouldn't say that his name will be safe any longer because Ye may do the work. Now, if you don't trust that Ye has them receipts, look, after the video evidence of Diddy getting physical with Cassie hit the streets, Candice Owens immediately came out and said that he is not in jail because he is fed CIA asset and added that Kanye tried to tell y'all she was right. Indeed, Ye talked about it years back, not on one, but several occasions. Watch this. Poison me, and by the way, y'all done already so much, y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is, and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public, and I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address though? Travis right? gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas, all you fake hard, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. I'll get fuck who, cause you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks cause you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta come at me. Cause part of the deal for you to be a do all that, rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're gonna go pull my coat co car. So, so with this, you can trust that Ye always be having the tea about all the shady inner workings of Hollywood and he's never wrong. Now when it gets to Jay-Z, it gets really personal because of their own personal beef. But again, because allegedly and according to Ye himself, Jay-Z and his wife are one of the biggest Hollywood elites and Ye has never been shy to talk about him, how he hates what they do, stand for and how he will always expose them. So he clearly has a valid motive for him to expose Jay-Z and some allegations say that the expose may be about his involvement in Diddy's freak-offs. Now, Diddy's parties have been the main characters in these whole lawsuits and all the victims say that a lot of shady and sinister stuff used to go down in there. And there is no doubt that Jay-Z was there because we know he always attended Diddy's parties and they were literally best friends for years. Now, no one knows for sure what kind of receipts that Ye has against Jay-Z, but considering that most people who sued Diddy say that he regularly used to tap those events and all the activities, that gives Ye a lot of chances to have gotten his hands on some of the evidence that can incriminate Jay-Z. Speaking of that, I do 
believe that Jay-Z and Diddy had some kind of relationship that exceeded being best friends, brothers, and co-workers. Because before the whole world knew the dark world that Diddy and his friends live in, him and Jay-Z literally slipped on stage where Diddy slipped and slapped Jay-Z's behind. While many people did not think much of it when it happened, it makes so much sense now. And most importantly, after knowing the Ye has some receipts over him engaged in Diddy's freak-offs, which also proves that indeed, Jay-Z and Diddy were engaged in it. Because if that wasn't the case, there isn't any other thing that explains why a man would slap another man's behind like that. Farns have a field day with this, highly anticipating for Ye to come and expose him. With one person referring to his song, Can't Tell Me Nothing, then saying that la 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 wait till i get my cameras right with another one saying damn i thought jay-z was the king of the illuminati but now we see who really has been the king of that ish the third person said that looks like jay-z likes a bit of the other side Elmafau. While the last person say that Kanye is a legend, so clearly, Ye has a lot of secrets on Jay-Z, and it is undoubtedly one of the reasons that he is terrified by him. However, they have been an on and off relationship while they faced a lot of rough paths in their friendship. In 2018, Ye said that for him, that's when things started changing when Jay-Z and his wife Beyonce did not attend his and Kim Kardashian's wedding. However, that wasn't the only time the Ye felt betrayed by Jay-Z because he also claimed that after Kim Kardashian was robbed in Paris, they never cared enough to know how they were doing. Ye say that, don't call me after no robbery and say how you feeling. You wanna know how I'm feeling? Come by the house, bring the kids by the house. Like we're brothers, let's sit down. One of the reasons that Ye was upset about Jay-Z's absence as his friend when he needed him the most was because he did, he did a lot to fight for his family, like when he stood out and fought for his wife Beyonce during the 2000 MTV VMAs where he said that Taylor Swift did not deserve the award and that Beyonce is the one who was deserving of it. Anyways, it is clear that Ye has on many occasions felt betrayed by Jay-Z and has been open about it all the time which is one of the things that scares Jay-Z a lot because he knows that he hurt him and anytime he can come out and expose him. So, as we wait to actually see if Ye will make use of those secrets, let me know what you think about their beef and the allegations of Jay-Z having been a part of Diddy's freak-offs. Like and subscribe to always keep updated. Let's catch up in the next video.